Hi, this is Rochelle at Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to do a special haul today. These are some of the new stationary products available at Walmart by Pen and Gear, which is a Walmart brand. Recently, I did a review of the Pen and Gear laminate pouches, and I'll link that above in the eye and in the description box below if you want to go check that out. It looks like Pen and Gear is going to have quite a selection of items in stationery. There are a few other things that I'm on the lookout for, but these items I'm going to show you today are some of the ones that I have actually found. So I'm going to insert some pictures also throughout because I didn't purchase everything, but I just want to be able to show you some of the other things that they have. Um, one thing that I purchased was this pouch, and it's considered a large journal kit. I don't know um, what they mean by large. I think they have their own system, planning system. So I think it's a three ring binder, um, probably half letter size or close to half letter. Um, I did see some inserts and dividers. But I mean, they even have the verbiage down. It, this includes a pencil pouch, a dashboard, two dashboard inserts. So that means it has a reusable dashboard in here, a pen holder, and three magnetic bookmarks. So it's eight piece set. This is $4.88. So less than $5. So let's see what we have in here. I'm really interested in this. Um, dashboard okay so it's not really a dashboard like a traditional dashboard like what we're used to it's kind of like something that would slip over a book um, you could actually put it in a traveler's notebook let's see it looks to be about B6 size so here's my B6 notebook I was working on kind of cleaning it out taking out inserts and everything. Um, let's find a string. So, yeah, I think it would go in a B6 fairly well. It's a little big. It might be a little big. It's really, um, yeah, it's a little big for a B6. So I don't know. Um, and then I guess it depends on how much you wrap it around too. So that's not wrapped around anything. Let's try it wrapped around this stack of um, pieces here. So yeah, it still hangs out a little. So maybe if I wrapped it around everything in the notebook, it wouldn't hang out as much, which was kind of, kind of difficult to do. Let's see. I can show you. Ooh. Okay, so that's around the whole <laughs> uh, inside of the notebook. Now that way it doesn't it doesn't hang out. So I guess you could do it that way. Oops, if you're using a um. I don't want those wrinkling up. If you're using a B6. So, okay. I don't know what that squeaky noise is. So let's look at these dashboards. Okay. So they're in a little product bag. Cellophane bag. I don't know that this is worth the five dollars I mean if you really really want this dashboard thing maybe but this is just paper and I guess you would just insert it like so and again see this doesn't protect the whole piece of paper so I don't know but it is pretty I'm not a big blue person but this is the floral is very pretty, but again, I don't know 
that it's worth the five dollars or four eighty eight. But that is what that looks like. That's really interesting. I don't know. What do you think about this dashboard? Oh well, yeah, it's it's really pretty. I have to say. Okay, I'm gonna leave that in there since I got it in there. And then this is why I say I don't know if it's worth it. These little magnetic bookmarks I find to be not that great most of the time. Um, but maybe okay. So you figure a dollar for the dashboard, a dollar for the dashboard inserts, or well, don't even count the dashboard inserts. A dollar for the dashboard, a dollar for the pouch, a dollar for this case, and a dollar for this, and 88 cents for the inserts. How about that? <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't really find these to be of use usually. I mean, they're packaged nicely on a little piece of acetate. Um, not really, I'm not really sure how strong these might be. I like that they do match the um, they do match the papers. So yeah, I don't really have any inserts in here. I mean that's pretty good for two two pages. Let's add a couple more pages and see what happens. If I can keep it open. So, I mean, it's pretty strong maggot. Ma <laughs> maggot. It's a pretty strong magnet. I wouldn't say it's incredibly strong like an Ollie clip, but it is a decent um, clip. And I'm going to put these on here. Just to keep everything together as much as possible. Now this is just one of the color options um, of this pouch. They had other options. And I think I got photos or video of those. And I'll uh, insert that here. But I got this one because I liked the color of this pouch. And on the cover here, you can see the color of everything and the details of everything um, when you purchase the kit. So, But this is, I like this color pink. They had a, a darker pink. But I thought this was quite nice. Um, and it has this elastic on it so you can... Attach it to your binder, your planner, your traveler's notebook, whatever you're using. I don't know if I like the um, elastic, but I'm thinking maybe I can go get another one and remove the elastic and use it as a pen case in my purse so that my pens aren't always just floating around all over the place. Just have a special case for my pens. So that was what was in this eight-piece pouch. I have mixed feelings about the dashboard. I like the pouch most of all. Um, the pencil case, I guess. This is not pencil holders, what they're calling it. And this is the pencil pouch. I don't know what I will do with this. Um, I don't know. But I'll figure out something. It will get some use. Um, and that is... Okay, so that's it for that. <laughs> so I'm going to move on to these. These are stencils. And they include a folder, and I really didn't need these stencils because I think they may be duplicates of the ones that I got from um, Amazon. But I took one for the team so that I could share it with you. <laughs> um, but this is what the packages look like. And I will check back to see if they have another design. But the information on the back is so small you can hardly see what the uh, stencils are. So there's that one. 
It's this one. Hopefully you can see that. And then there's this one. I think these would be really nice for if you're using a Hobonichi wigs or your bullet journaling. Um, one or all of them. Okay, I, did I say that these are 288 each? Um, I started to just get one and then was like, well, let me get them all so that I can show you what they have. And it comes with this folder, which is really nice if you're using a traveler's notebook. You can pop these pop this in your notebook so you're getting a folder and the stencils so it's a total of nine pieces one folder and eight stencils um, the folder is about four and a quarter by seven I don't know what <laughs> what size this fits unless this fits the new traveler's notebook that they have out my stores don't have that one yet so I'm still that's one of the things I'm still looking for so maybe this will work in that I don't know um, you could always trim it down and use it in a a6 I guess yeah that's a really strange size even if it's just four by seven so I don't know what that's about, but these are the stencils. Um, let me get something so that you can see them. Okay, so that you can see the stencils. I think these may be different from the ones that I got from um no, I don't think so, because even these are numbered, just like those were. The ones that I got from Amazon, but I don't know. This doesn't look familiar. So there's that one. You got the weather, sports and activities. Let's see, I'll just do one at a time. Banners and stars. That's nice. Um, your alpha and numbers, your people, yeah, these are different. Then so you've got some boxes and a pattern of boxes. I didn't realize this while I was recording this video, but those are not just boxes and that's not just a pattern. You can actually use those to make a monthly spread or bullet journaling or if you're doing a from scratch spread or whatever you want to call it um, yeah you can make your monthly spread with those so that's the one with the marble the pink and purple or lavender marble I like that they come with a folder let's see and maybe that's why they have them folded out like that. Or you probably put four on one side, four on the other side. So that it holds it nicer. So this one is the turquoise and purple and gold. Really pretty. Um, let's see what we got here. Some banners and ribbons or awards. This has, ooh, I like those. The days of the week. Wow. Some arrows. More ribbon, um, ribbons, more um, banners. This is patterns, decor. decor. Patterns, decor, boxes, lines or rules, dividers. Same here. These are rules or dividers. Hmm. Okay. Checklists. 
then you have some words shopping list important remember goals to do today tomorrow done yay oh this is nice the months how cool so you can oh my goodness these are awesome <laughs> uh, checklist checklist wow the little corner box banner these are really nice I have to say I, I think that they would be quite useful okay so there's that one do they have names no Walmart is really stepping it up for the planner community which um, is kind of nice because at least with Walmart pretty much most stores will have things at least in my experience most of the stores have the same things in stock usually okay this is like my least favorite um, folder but this is what it looks like and let's see what we have in here okay some little characters that's different I like the the leaf some shapes decorative boxes puzzle pieces hearts um, comment bubbles got a few rules there oh, some emojis um, some icons shapes in a variety of sizes I'm not sure what this would be used for hmm. you got lists your days of the week so you could do a tracker with this some cacti little florals so all of these have some useful things this is alpha again with numbers and mathematical symbols am I holding these so you all can see and then here's some pretty large shapes so for 288 each I think that's a good deal you get the folder too I mean I'm not sure what size travelers notebook you would use that in or maybe that would work in this I know what it would work in a personal this would, yeah, this would kind of work in a personal size traveler's notebook. Let's try that out. It depends on how streamlined it is because it is like a, about a quarter of an inch too big. But I think it could work. That does not go with my notebook right there. <laughs> but yeah, so it would fit in your traveler's notebook like that. Okay, so that will work, and you don't have any overhang or anything like that. This is a Mystic's Little Gifts personal size traveler's note notebook. I don't think I I think I just got like a one inch spine or what the whatever the basic spine is, so it's not a wide or anything like that. So yep, it'll fit in a personal size traveler's notebook. Okay, let's see what else I got. Looks like this is going to be a pretty long video. <laughs> um, okay, and they are thrown in to the sticker game. Now, they had stickers out previously. I don't know if it was actually a Walmart brand. I don't remember. Um, but these are actually by Pen and Gear. These are the what they're considering large sticker books. These are six dollars and forty-two cents each. 
and this one has 1767 that one has 1419 we're going to start with 1767 first it has the little tape holding it closed and they had quite a few of these in the store that I went to the only thing about Walmart is the way that they stock the shelves they just kind of do like Dollar Tree unless maybe somebody was just not finished in that area I don't know it's like they're putting the stock out slowly a little bit at a time it's like maybe they work in that section for an hour a day or something I don't know but everything was all stacked on top of each other so I had to look through like all of the sticker books were in two piles so they didn't have just have a pile of 1767 and a pile of 1419 they were all just stacked up together so I had to kind of search through so just know that whatever you see on the top might not be um, the only thing in that stack so you have to kind of look through I wish they wouldn't do that but oops. okay let's see what we got okay so these are nice pastels they are matte finish they are not those shiny uh, stickers I don't know what, what to say about them shiny thin stickers these are a little thin but I mean that depends on they're not thick like Mambi, but I think they're more along the line of the stickers we get from Etsy shops or that you print at home on your own sticky sticker paper. But they are a nice, I think the paper feels a little nicer than, I don't know, it's probably about the same. So you get these little quote boxes, tags little banners checklists nice stars these little circles what do you all use these for let me know in the comments Ooh, I like their corners they're big so you can use them as decor or to highlight so they have the big ones they have small ones what are these these look like some kind of, okay, and that's some type of header. Nice. These are individual little stickers. So you could put this by just one item that you need to check off. And check off, I like this a lot. Okay, they are coming for you, ma'am. Let let's zoom in. <laughs> Maybe I was a little too far out, okay these are large boxes they kind of look like Polaroid frames and I know they're too big to fit in our standard yeah these are like two two and an eighth inch wide so they're too big for to fit in a full box but these are some icons a variety of icons more icons some bows for all you bow lovers out there and they are individual yes they are individual bows some banners neutrals weekend this whoa hello love wow done happy moments holiday good times nice I don't know how to use these maybe you put them like on the corner of your box or like on the edge of the top of the box maybe just some label style stickers to do yay now I must say that they when they print white on these really really light pastels it people like me that can't see that well <laughs> it makes um, it difficult to read well it's not just me but yeah that's kind of a design flaw when you do really really light um, graphics and then put white text on it it's really hard to read um, some more icons
here's some boxes let's see it looks like these yeah these are about no no they're a little smaller than a, a real full box sticker they're like an eighth of an inch short but they would fit within a full box and take up most of the space so those are nice and you get some half box size notes to do to do some trackers these are probably two inches or close to it I'm not I'm not gonna measure everything I'm just cu curious yeah two inches just curious as to where they would fit and I'm sure some of these would work great in a big happy planner it just depends on what kind of planner you're using though then just some flags yes no yay and some more uh, comment bubbles some little what are these dew drops dew drop icons maybe these are some flags let's say today coffee um, a dream date monthly presentation then some washi strips nice some appointment boxes I guess you call those appointment flags more icons these are weather icons some full boxes that are not really full boxes <laughs> A little short full boxes. Um, let's party. Hello. Be beautiful, joyful. Magic is real. Peace. The color scheme is really nice. Some alpha. Some uh, double box strips, I guess. Let's see what those those say make goals and keep them live in the moment good day find your adventure love 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 make today amazing do your best girl boss exo like a boss saturday coffee messy bun yoga pants work hard and play hard hello be brave and kind and loyal and love nice colors to do clipboards with the gold foil and then this is date stickers. I guess you could use, I don't know what you would use these for. Oh, I do. If you have, um, uh, if you do daily uh, planning, duh, you could use those. And you could use these for a week. And you have your icons, make your own checklist, whatever you need. Then this one's just some. Um, headers I guess with the circles nice and I almost did not buy any of these I was like I don't need sticker books <laughs> so if you consider I mean Mambi books are like the happy planner books I keep saying Mambi but the happy planner sticker books are like the ultimate sticker books and without a coupon, they are $19.99. Um, these are $6.42. So, I mean, and they're not, I don't think you're lacking in that much quality, especially if you're used to Etsy stickers. I think these are really nice. So they're much more affordable. And honestly, a lot of them seem a lot more useful. Um, than some of the ones in the Happy Planner. Now, I said that. Now we'll get into some that we probably can't use. But, Girls Night Celebrate Holiday Vacation. So you have it in just um, a standard sans serif font. And then you have a script font on the, that says the same thing. Again, nice colors. Really big boxes. To-do boxes. 
some more of those circles. These are smaller. Some arrow headers. More circles, what they say, want, but first, look, never, BFF, yes, of course, yup, yay. <laughs> um, some arrows. Make sure I'm not skipping a page. Some comment bubbles. I don't know how useful those would be. I don't know. Some headers. These would be nice to layer, like make a header, and then if you have some to do stickers, you know, just the word stickers on top of those, that would be cute. This is a bell. So I guess it's like for an appointment sticker. These are square boxes, full boxes, stars and arrows. This is coffee, a light bulb, lips, um, wine glasses or champagne celebration, ice cream, birthday cake, pizza, birthday cake, tea or coffee for the rest of those. So just little icons. This is the fork and spoon icons that you could use for meal planning breakfast lunch dinner boxes again really light color with the font that makes it kind of difficult to read but gold foil um, shapes so you have some with the lines and some that are blank icon checks and X's, some banners, and I guess these are supposed to be like little bows. I don't know. Some, what are these? Emoji icons and stars and circles. I like these. Um, some full boxes, but they're like with washi tape on them, kind of, and then you get some of the pieces of the washi tape here. Well, it's like mock washi tape stickers. Some gradient check boxes. Somebody's been on Etsy. Hmm. Then some little banners that you could use for headers. Some washi strips. I like this. You got this. Strong is the new pretty. Just keep moving. Then you got some hydrate stickers. Okay, I guess this is their health and wellness or fitness section because it's got like little fitness icons. It's got some weigh-in um, teardrops or dew drops. Some banner flags. Alpha, well, numbers and characters. And then there's the alpha. Some more of the shape boxes and these have lines in them tags and more shape or comment bubbles, tag boxes, hearts, arrow banners, some gold foil butterflies. Look at those. Then these are some weather icons. It's a weird color but okay. And then a floral. Ooh. So these three pages seem a little odd. <laughs> with this but I'm not mad yeah these three seem to be out of character with the rest of it but I guess this is what's supposed to tie it all in maybe am I flipping these the wrong way so hello beautiful yeah so that's quite a bit of stickers so again I think these two are really worth it then they have some smaller sticker books. I only saw two, which are these two. So this one has 9,881. This one has 726. Let me hold them down so you can see. This is what they look like. These are 288 each. So these are even less than what they're calling the large sticker books. So this one is the one that I really have seen and I wanted. Uh, it just looks great just from the cover. 
and I didn't look on the back of these okay they do show you what's in here on the back of the other ones here's the information in case you're looking for it this uh, and it is a 30 page sticker book and then here it is the information for the other one and this is what the this one looks like and then that is the 1419 book okay so this is this one and it doesn't have a name so I don't think so nope but it's 726 726 stickers how many pages 15 pages so more comment bubbles some alpha um, weather icons some to do today boxes lists clipboard boxes with gold and silver foil some washi strips some gold and silver foil icon well silver foil icons gold and silver um, headers it says meeting appointment important then you got these flags it's got the floral got some tags here these are appointment tags Appoint adventure awaits wanderlust what are these what kind of stickers are these these are just word stickers oops I didn't mean to take it all the way off yeah yeah those are word stickers escape the ordinary adventure see this that's too light can barely read that adventure is out there wanderlust adventure awaits escape the ordinary and repeats so I guess this is travel these are pretty These banners with gold foil you got like a little marble pattern the black and white stripe of course the florals are pretty schedule plans to do fun ideas okay then you got some just appointment boxes some washi strips some icon dewdrops some more appointment boxes some weekly trackers some full boxes for to do thoughts ideas notes some emoji icons at least they're not yellow that's all I can say at least they're not yellow and then days of the week you know I love these love 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 these for my from scratch spreads so this one 288 726 they need lots more stickers in here with this floral pattern on them. Okay, this one, not crazy about the cover, kind of blah. Um, in comparison to this cover, all of their covers are kind of blah. But yeah, <laughs> let's see what we got. Ooh, so you got purple, purples and turquoise. Life is beautiful and love is beautiful. Okay. So washi strips, appointment boxes, weekly trackers, comment bubbles. These are banner headers. Basically say the same thing as the other ones. Noted dates, dinner, uh, monthly breakfast, coffee, things like that. These are gold foil emojis, appointment banners, sports activities, and yeah, that's what that looks like. <laughs> so it's like some barbells. I guess this is if the game is rained out. I don't know, or drink some water. Um, basketballs, uh, baseball cap, 
bowling, a softball or baseball, a bat, um, some full boxes, some circles and hearts. I like this color scheme. Some alpha, some checklist boxes. And you know what? I like that they have the checklist on the right side. Even though I don't design them like that, I've always wondered why they aren't like that because it just makes sense that you check it off after you've done it. So you read it, you do it, you check it off. I don't know. It just makes sense to me. Did this page fall out? Yes, it did. Um, it looks like it might be miscut a little bit too. Huh. It's really close to the edge. Um, some shopping icon. This looks like a calendar icon, a time icon, thumbs up. A lock, a, a home, a light, is that a light bulb? It looks like a light bulb and shopping in the um, calendar repeat. Some full boxes and half boxes. Some weather icons in the color scheme. These are really pretty. I think I said that about the other book too. Um, I think this pattern looks much better as a sticker than it does on the cover, especially with the gold foil on it. Love yourself. Love is lovely. Love every day. Choose love today, today, today. Just reading them. My plans to do schedule. And then this one, appointment, oh, it actually says dentist, dentist, important, remember, doctor, dinner, these are nice, color scheme is lovely, so that is all of the sticker books, and if you made it this far, I am going to do a giveaway, I bought an extra book, just one. Um, so I'm going to do a giveaway of this sticker book just because I loved it so much. I love the cover so much. This is going to be open to US only. I'll put all the details down below in the description box. So to enter, just um, leave a comment below and tell me um, what you think about the new line of stationery at Walmart by Pen and Gear. Um, if you have, this is a big chunk of it, so you should be able to tell me what you at least think about these items. And if you've seen other items, you can tell us all about them in the comments below. And I will randomly choose a winner. Um, and I'll put all the dates and times and everything like that down in the description box below. So yeah, if you would like a chance to win, let me put this back. <laughs> if you'd like a chance to win this sticker book. Just leave, see the description box below for the rules and details, okay? So that's it for this Walmart stationery haul. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.